Hey everybody, it's Megan. I'm here again to talk about our next craft. This is our June craft for the library. It's a 4th of July wreath. Uh, I really love this one. I'm really excited about the 4th. That's one of my favorite holidays. I just love everything about it. So I thought this would be a really fun way to celebrate and to have this cool wreath to hang and to celebrate. So I will show you how we made it. Just follow along. So to make your clothespin wreath, you have everything you need included in your packet. We've got our uh, wreath form. Uh, we've got three different colors of paint. It's um, black, uh, it's chalk paint, so it's a little bit thicker than regular paint, so it should be easier to go onto the uh, wood of the clothespins. We've got a variety of wooden stars, we've got a foam paintbrush, and then we've got our clothespins. You should have more than enough for this project. And then we've just got a string to hang our wreath when we are finished. Okay, so for this project, we are using I used for my wreath uh, 14 blue st star or clothespins for blue, um, 20 white clothespins, and 20 red clothespins. So you should have extras in your kit, but if you want to make it a little bit tighter, you can. So you can use more if you want, but that's what I used. So basically, it's, this is super easy. We're just going to take a clothespin, start with any color you want. Um, and we're just gonna start painting. It's kind of therapeutic, like all painting is for me anyway. I just go ahead and cover as much as you can without getting your hand covered in paint. Um, I like to do the tip part because you can kind of see that when it's done. And then the way I did this is I can't really, I don't have room to show you here, but I just used an empty box and then I clipped, I started clipping them around the edges of the box to dry. And then when they're clipped on there, you are able to get the paint to the top without having to touch the bottom. So you can do that and just keep going. Um, it'll take a, an hour or two to paint everything. So settle in, it'll be fun though. Um, so just keep going and do your 20 white, 20 red and 14 blue. And you can also paint your stars with the white paint. Um, it's a little harder to not get paint on yourself, but you can just make sure you have something down a newspaper or cloth and let them dry each, on each side and then get the back. Okay, and once you have your clothespins all painted, um, I didn't get like totally inside all of them because you won't really see that, but if you want to try to get in there, you can. But anyway, the way I arrange them on the wreath form is I'm just, it's the easiest thing. I'm just uh, using, clipping them onto the wreath form. And I'm doing a pattern where one is lower than the next. And then, so one, this one in the middle is higher than the two next to it and back and forth. So it looks kind of like a, a cool design when it's done. So I'm just clipping one all the way down with the, the two lowest uh, wires on this wreath. And then this one that's a little bit higher is just clipped with the same two wires, but it's just clipped a little bit higher than that, if that makes sense. So we're doing one higher and then one lower. But of course you can do, you can do whatever you want. So if that's not something that looks good to you, you can make them all the same if you want or do a different design. And then I neglected to mention that the pattern that I did for my clothespins is uh, five white, five red, all the way around until I get to this 
part on the side, um, like the last quarter of it, uh, all blue, so it looks like a flag. And then at the end, you can um, glue down your stars however you want them. It's nice to have a different uh, pattern of stars with different sizes. So, and that's basically it. It couldn't get much easier. Tie your twine to the top so you can hang it. And that's it. Thanks again for joining me in our June craft, this 4th of July wreath. I think it came out pretty good and I'm excited to hang it um, on my door for the 4th. So enjoy your 4th, everybody. Thanks for joining. See you next time. Bye.